सोच में सकारात्मकता लाएं, जीवन को बेहतर बनाएं। मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनुबल अपना और बढ़ाए मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनुबल अपना और बढ़ाए चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम मनु दर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी लिसनर्स एंड लर्नर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन ऑफ सी आई टी एन सी आर टी नेम्ड सहयोग एंड आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दस लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल फ्रॉम चैनल नंबर सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व एंड लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट सहयोग सेशन सहयोग एंड परिचर्चा आर हेल्ड अंडर मनोदर्पण इनिशिएटिव बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन अंडर आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान so that we can provide psychosocial support to all the students teachers parents out there across the country and let me share the title of this session that is improving improving resilience for mental well being of children and we have our experts with us so uh, let's um, quickly meet her meet them you are dr ph brajyanti devi from niri ncert shillong very warm welcome ma'am namaskar and we have our practicing counselor as well uh, let's meet her too you are miss mishtu dev very warm welcome ma'am namaskar namaste ma'am good evening good evening ma'am and before we start this particular session of sahyog let me share some certain information to all the students and learners in case they have any query or they want to reach out to us through this throughout the session you can call us on our uh, telephone number that is Double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. Either you can drop a mail as well with all your queries, doubts, and your feedback as well on uh, sayog dot n c e r t r c i t dot n i c dot i n. And we have our uh, Manodarpan National Helpline number as well. That is eight four four eight four four zero six three two. In case you want to have advice from Manodarpan's uh, advisors or counselors. so uh, let's uh, quickly start this session but before that let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding india's g20 presidency we are indeed very proud that india assumed the g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation that deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india's g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudhaiv kutumbakam or we can say the whole world is one family with that very important piece of information let's quickly start our discussion and the title is improving resilience for mental well being of uh, children so without any further delay let's uh, quickly get back to, uh, to our expert and brajyanti ma'am my first question to you is what exactly resilience is and what are the types ma'am please explain to us and the word resilience may be considered as a fundamental aspect of mental health and they in generally refers to a person's ability to bounce back uh, and adapt from the negative experiences like stress adversity or trauma and the when we say resilience resilience it doesn't mean that the person does not face stress and the emotions and the sufferings it is not doesn't mean also ignoring problems and suppressing emotions rather it enables the person to work through emotional pain and suffering and the face the challenges uh, head on and the agile is find the ways to uh, perceive with the perseverance and unlike many innate uh, qualities of human being such as introversion and the extroversion resilience is a learned skill that children can develop as they grow further and by teaching resilience skills from an early age we can help our children build a build uh, a foundation for happiness and the well being like in life this is the i mean the uh, common meaning of uh, resilience and the it is a, actually resilience is often used to represent overall overall adaptability and the coping uh, but here we have different types of resilience so uh, number 1 is Uh, next slide, ma'am. Next slide. 
resilience is emotional resilience so when the word emotional resilience uh, because uh, it is the, uh, related to the emotional and because in here uh, we have many different people and uh, uh, how the people uh, be, all of us have the problems now we have faced uh, stress now we have faced uh, uh, adversity but how people cope with the stress and the adversity varies from person to person and the by nature some people are very too sensitive some people are less sensitive so accordingly they adjust to the change situation so emotional resilient people are those who can understand what are they feeling and the why because why i am feeling like this and the why i feel like this so when you understand this so it will be easier for you to i mean the sustain the emotional uh, i mean the your, your emotion so this resilient emotionally resilient people they take realistic optimism even during the crisis and they use both internal and the external resources to get through it because she will try from her own feeling also she will try why i am feeling like in the why i should feel like that these things and the out i mean by making connection to the other people and by taking example from others and the sometimes they think it is not only me who are suffering other people also are there like this they always try to take realistic optimism and when you are optimist then uh, it is easy for you to sustain the uh, emotions and that's why it is called emotional resilience and the physical resilience is the refers to the body's ability to adapt to challenges suppose when we feel sick and the when we face problems now when we met an accident or all other physical demands some people are i mean easily they could uh, i mean the uh, uh, they could sustain the stressors and the some people cannot uh, sustain the stressor so physical uh, physical resilience is the regarding the i mean is about the bodily bodily resilience bodily how can you how can you adapt the uh, unavailable uh, no how can you adapt the uh, the situation and the adverse condition this is about the uh, physical resilience next slide uh, and the community resilience it refers to the ability of a group of people it's not individual it's about the ability of a group of people how they respond and how they recover from the situations i mean the other uh, i mean changes or the conditions like natural disasters uh, then the uh, action of violence and the economic hardship and the other challenges faced by the group as a whole uh, so uh, covid 19 is one example the ethnic conflict supposed at, at present also in manipur is happening so such type of uh, i mean the uh, uh such type of conditions or the situations faced by the whole community so when uh, they try to uh, recover from these situations it is called community resilience and the psychological resilience it is the ability to mentally cope with uncertainty adversity and the challenges and in our topic it is more about the psychological resilience and emotional resilience and uh, this psychological resilience also sometimes refers to mental fortitude and psychologically resilient people develop coping strategies and skills that enable them uh, to remain calm and focused during a crisis in the process on without distress and anxiety because some of the people in the same in some in the hostel some i mean some issue come up some type come and some i mean the uh, uh, i mean the some unwanted incidents happen then also some people they try to i mean the uh, listen and they, they try to reason out quietly but some people they may they because of panic like this this type of uh, i mean the uh, psychological resilience is uh, uh, is the ability to uh, remain calm and the to uh, i mean the come out of the problem come out of the situation which is adverse it is known as uh, psychological resilience these are some of the important types of resilience yes ma'am and this is what resilience is and there are four types of resilience and mr ma'am here we would like to know it's a, an important factor but why it's so important ma'am ma'am uh, as uh, present ma'am has told that uh, resilience is an individual capacity to cope with or adapt or recover from a situation of adversity so i must say it varies actually people to people person to person it varies um a child born with this kind of capacity or you can say this resilience is a skill which we can develop uh by when uh, the throughout his uh, life his or her life so it's a kind of in quality or the skill a child with born with so if 
the child wants or the parents uh, can uh, give some effort then child can um, br uh, bring it up i mean uh, uh, he or she can become a very good resilient in his later life if he is skilled in this kind of um, qualities so uh, like uh, if we give an example of uh, some kind of difficult training sessions like uh, our army people how they go through before getting uh, the job or during the job this kind of what kind of training they go through it's very difficult uh, for a person normal person it's very difficult for us to think about this kind of trainings but during that situation if a person is uh, so much calm mentally and uh, don't get stress or getting anxiety during those kind of tough situation it shows what kind of resilience he or she is having so this kind of attitude this kind of quality or patience a person if the person is having um, that is it uh, shows that how much re resilience the person is so it is very important actually uh, for, as an important factor for mental well being it's so it why it is important because it can help to protect us from various uh, mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety ma'am uh, next slide please so different kind of anxiety and depression uh, depression if the child or the person is going through and uh, the person is having that kind of patience in him or her can deal with the situation or can overcome the situation or he or she can become a calm can calm his mind in in that kind of tough situation then automatically those person won't be uh, getting this depression or mental illness in his or life he will be he would be able to um uh, remove this kind of situation or deal with this situation very easily so it is a very important factor for a mental well being and next we can say is the ability to do with withstand adversity bounce back and grow despite life down trumps like ups and downs are going on in our life but in that different or difficult situation when everything is like messed up or the person is failing how uh, i will uh, go out from this situation if the person is having a positive mentality how i can um, go beyond this situation how i can assist myself then it is uh, it will teach the person how uh, he can keep more patience in him and how he can keep his mental health very well so this kind of patience or resilience is very important for each and every person if the child is learning to get it or getting skilled uh, to do it from his or her childhood then that would be easy for him or her to for his entire life or for his future to deal with different kind of problems which he or she is going to get in his life so children with greater resilience are better able to manage stress which is common response to difficult events i mean um, in their school time they must be getting uh, going to participate in any kind of competition and suddenly uh, they are getting the information that your exam is uh, coming uh, within 7 uh, days and if the uh, child is full of patience or you can say the resilient or the uh, child is very much strong mentally and then he won't be um afraid of you won't get panic during that situation so he will know how to deal that situation how to manage himself how to do studies and how to manage all the works and how he can make a routine work and how he if he goes uh, and follows this kind of routine then automatically his problems will be a uh, removed or problem will be solved very easily so it is very important it's a very important factor for a child or later life it's a, it, it becomes a very important factor for an adult for a youth to uh, get resilient and we can see this kind of examples uh, during the sports uh, like there are thousands of people or there are many whom we know as a uh, player uh what kind of sports it be doesn't matter but if in a different or difficult situation the person is able to calm his mind and take the correct decision in a correct time then we can see that uh, that group or the team work get uh, benefited or they can get the achievement very easily 
so this uh, resilience is a very important factor uh, for mental well-being we can say and the child or the uh, children uh, should uh, learn uh, should be skilled on it from their childhood itself thank you ma'am thank you so very much ma'am for letting letting us know that uh, resilience is a skill and we can and all the children can uh, inculcate that and it protects us from uh, mental health issues as just ma'am said and let's move forward to our rajyanti uh, uh, ma'am and ma'am my next question to you is what are the seven c's of resilience ma'am ma'am are you there hello hello uh, yes yes uh, yes so we, now we said that uh, resilience is a very important factor for uh, the well mental well being of children and we also said that it is very important and it is a cut and the cut uh, and but uh, we should know what are those and how how should we can make this uh, we can build this resilience to the children so first of all we should try to know that what are the seven c's for resilience so here the competency confidence connection character and the contribution uh, and the uh, contribution then control uh, uh, and the coping these are the seven c's so competency is nothing else it refers to the ability of children in handling situation at their own uh, and the, uh, they uh, they should be able to take their own decision and uh, they should be able to do things independently so the actually this savings is uh, for resilience uh, because this resolution has resilience has to be developed to children um, through some or other strategy but so here uh, this resolution can be resilience can be developed uh, by the parents and the as well as by the teachers so these savings is are mainly uh, uh, the parents part and the it is from the end of the uh, from the side of the parents so competency is one c for the resilience so this i mean the this is developed uh, through the uh, 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 their experience and, they, and the and if they when they handle the situation at their own and the, when they take decision and the, when we allow them to uh, perform or to do the things independently so this is the competency that's why for parents parents should do these things because should, uh, up to some extent up to the acceptable amount we should allow the children uh, to do their uh, things at their own and the two handle the situation of their own and we should not just rush to them uh, just to do everything by us and that we should be allow sometimes we should to agree we should uh, be willing to the decision taken by the children so that time uh, this competency will be developed to the child and the confidence is another uh, she for this resilience from the uh, to be done mainly by the parents so it refers to the uh, believing themselves so confidence means when i have confidence so i believe that this i can do this and that i will do that this is the confidence so it is required to enable why this is required it is required to enable the children navigate their world and the think creatively and the recover from setbacks and the, when they we should uh, when we allow them the child when we give time the children to the child uh, to recover in the two uh, and in the to navigate their world uh, from at their own and then they will have this confidence okay i can do this and the support is parents and the caregivers should encourage children uh, uh, to uh, to try new things and the praising their efforts when we allow them to try new things and even if they do not succeed also we should try their effort so the, through this only confidence can be developed to the child and the confidence is one of the important factor for uh, developing resilience and the connection is the very important connection is the sense of security derived from the close and the healthy relationship with family members or friends and the, the wider community so uh, this sense cannot be secure uh, cannot be i mean developed cannot be derived uh, in, from uh, in isolation so that we should give chance and we should give opportunity to mingle with people to spend quality time with others and the uh we should allow them to develop closely uh, close relationship with some i mean the good person and we give opportunity to allow to express their emotions because all these things can be done at home sometimes you don't listen to the child when but they say something we say no no it is not your job we are doing you listen and you don't say but it is not we should not do like that because we should always try to 
uh, give an opportunity to them to express their emotions also and their decision also. And the next is character. So character refers to the integrity, responsibility, and the fundamental sense of right and wrong. So this it see this character is very important factor for copying the adverse situation and the, uh, the unwanted situation when they fell in problems. So this character or this value will help them to think which is right which is wrong. So this is strong value of a character is the basis for making wise decision what to do, what not to do. And when they uh, when they face with difficult situations, so children should be encouraged to give care for others and also demonstrate that individuals' actions and the behaviors affect those in around. This should, we should make this demonstration. We should make this situation so that children will be exposed to them and that they will learn this and that they will develop this valuable character, very strong character. And the contribution is the way in which children can do make the world a better place. Because right from the small time also, we should allow them to do something. So they, this contribution can be started from the home only. Because we should allow them to do something, uh, some small, small uh, tasks, small, small things um, for the family. Then when they, they also feel happy, they also think that, okay, I am uh, I also, I also contributing, I am part of this family. Because through this, uh, they, they feel a strong sense of, uh, their, uh, the purpose and the meaning for themselves because I am also doing something, my existence is meaningful. These are very important. Uh, so this should also be uh, we allow to the children to develop this contribution. Next slide. And then uh, parents and the elderly people should encourage children to make good contribution involving uh, uh, them in identifying uh, others' needs and the feelings and the responding kind because this thing should be, uh, uh, children should be exposed, this children should have a chance, the opportunity to perform and to observe these things. And the copying is another scene. So copying refers to the mechanisms that people use to deal with stressful situations. So we are, have been talking about the copying stress, copying uh, adversity and that we mainly when we talk about the mental health, we always use this copy. So what this is copy means, this is the uh, way this is the strategy this is the mechanism how people uh, deal with the stressful situation and the conditions in healthy way so that they are less likely to fall negative behaviors like depression because if we do not take in a positive way sometimes we feel very bad and we keep on thinking in the it leads to depression and sometimes we get very angry because we i mean the uh, we do not know how to i mean the uh, how to uh, uh, deal with the situation. If sometimes some people say something, so I should know. Is it uh, for me? It, is it uh, uh, genuine to be very angry, or if he say like that, you know, what does it harm to me, or if there is no harm, so why should I be angry like that? So I should be able to know with the uh, all the situation when the situation is out of my control. So. Uh, we should not uh, keep on thinking with a negative way and we should not get angry and the, sometimes voice is especially when they are not happy and the, when they when they cannot get what they want and the, when sometimes and some people compel them to do something or when they become very disappointed they just try to use some substance which is uh, not um, substance I think substance abuse we call later on when they do not uh, use the substance in the accordingly and the ma'am we would like you to sum up please Okay, parents can utilize healthy copying strategies. Okay, this strategies, creative solutions, modeling, how to remain calm and positive way with stress. This can be demonstrated by the parents. And the control is another one. It is such a feeling that the situation can be affected. So if I I am confident that I also can affect some situation, I can change the situation. I can, I can impose some control on that. So this also, it gives you the confidence and the that's why we should allow the children to develop control by demonstrating how people's action led to different situations. This, we should teach them how you can make a difference in the two situations. So when some, uh, this is okay, this is the sudden uh, change. And the next slide. Then okay, this for this seven is how to develop uh, resilience through the uh, 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 these seven is uh, for resilience. Okay, for this we can uh, employ. Uh, play and uh, employ with this uh, pro. The pro means one is play, one and uh, first one is play, then responsibility and the observation and the experience. So through this, I will just give you in short only because this play, play through play, we can play. I will not explain the play. There is uh, less time. So through play, we can build competence, confidence, connections, and the control. So these are some of the sciences. So 
through play we can develop this Fine, uh, through responsibility then we also can uh, talk about the connections the coping through responsibility and the observation through observation we can we can develop competence uh, confidence contribution coping and the control all of them experience experience is the experience gives you the i mean the, the knowing the world and the uh, your surroundings so uh, through this when you give experience to the cell so character coping and the control these she's can be developed so who is all of right. us are the contributor to the resilience okay ma'am as uh, mr ma'am we are running very very short of time right now but still we want to know what are the ways to build resilience ma'am in a brief we would like to know ma'am yes ma'am uh, like uh, to encourage the community and connection give some space for change offer comprehensive mental well-being resources establish clear channels for communication and feedback hmm. and learn from experiences then building strong positive uh, next slide please ma'am building strong positive relationship with loved ones and friends um then make every day meaningful remain hopeful and all these things now these are the ways how we can build our resilience if we talk about the first point that to, to encourage the community and connection it shows that uh, how we are having the relationship with our family members and the society people and the community people how we can encourage them and to do some kind of works how they can control their mind control their emotion during difficult situations and how we are teaching them and how we are working them uh, with them and how we are together working together as a team so mm. this kind of things like give space for some changes mm. it means the changes will happen and we should give some time to that what is going to uh, change and for that we need some time to wait or what is not going to change we can't expect that going to be changed soon right, so everything needs some time so offer some comprehensive mental well-being resources like if the person if any community people is unhappy so we should add in some kind of please tell us in brief ma'am please tell us in brief you are in very short of time yes ma'am so these are the ways how we can build up the resilience in a child and that that child will become a youth in our later life so we can expect those um, uh you can work for our nation for our society and we can get a peaceful world for everyone so and how uh, take care of yourself means how hmm. as a person as a, me and you how we are taking care of our mental health and physical health if we think good then automatically we will behave uh, in a uh, positive way and we can teach something to others and maybe we will become a role model for others uh while right. doing some positive works so these are the ways how we can build up the resilience in us and in others too thank you ma'am thank you so very much ma'am and uh, uh, these are the ways so that uh, children can build resilience in themselves and it's a wonderful wonderful skill each one of us must have these skills as we are running very short of time so we have to wind up this session here only but before that uh, brajyanti ma'am and mr ma'am thank you so very much for being with us ma'am thank you Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And before I wrap up this session, let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding NCERT textbooks. NCERT textbooks for the year 2023-24 are available throughout the country, and these textbooks may be purchased directly from NCERT sales counters located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata, and Guwahati. These sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays, including all the gazetted holidays, Saturdays and Sundays, as well from 9:30 a.m. to 6 p.m. You may also place order for the books online from our website, that is ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in, and these books will be delivered at your doorstep with no delivery fees. And in case you want a soft copy of all those books in PDF version, it can also be downloaded online for free from NCERT. Diksha e Pachal website and from our mobile app as well. We would request you to visit our website that is ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors. With that note, me Renu Bhatt is taking your leave, but you stay tuned to Evidya Channels. Namaskar. Stay healthy. सोच में सकारात्मकता लाएं, जीवन को बेहतर बनाएं। मनुदर्पण पर कौन लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए मनोदर्पण पर कौन लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे
चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम मनोदर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू